Oh, bullet holes. Oh, okay, hold on. We might not be able to look at this one. Yeah, yeah, I know. You saw the thumbnail and you've been waiting probably even fast forwarded just to get to this. Shame on you for that. There we go. There we go. We got her. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. I am so enjoying traveling around to different yards and meeting new people and, and experiencing different cultures and checking out, well, honestly, a lot of it's the same old same as back in Oklahoma. But regardless of that, I love coming out and just meeting new people and experiencing new things. So today we are at Insurance Auto Auctions here in New Orleans, Louisiana, man. And let me tell you, it's hot, it's sticky, it's rainy, and I'm loving every minute of it. Last night on the way in from Baton Rouge, we ran over an alligator. Now I've run over a lot of things in my day coming from the country in Oklahoma, snakes and uh, tarantulas and possums, but I never have I run over an alligator. Now I am happy to say I didn't kill the alligator. All right, I never hit an animal on purpose. I never, I never kill an animal on purpose. Not ever. I don't hunt. I don't do none of that. None of that. I, I really... I love animals. I also love eating, you know, food. So I'm not against, I'm not a vegetarian or don't, don't think that, but I make it a point to try to avoid hitting animals at all costs, man. I don't want to make anything suffer. So I seen this thing in the road last night about, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning. I'm driving, I'm tired and I see it and I think it's a snake from a distance until I get close to it. I realize this is probably a three or four foot baby alligator just hanging out in the middle of the damn highway. I was able to drive straight over him and I didn't hit him. And as far as I know, he was alive when I left him. But the first time ever have I seen an alligator in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh, we're going to jump into this today, guys. Uh, I just want to say I'm loving Louisiana. We are staying at, we're staying right in New Orleans, right around from the French Quarter. I always love coming out to New Orleans. And I got to say again, uh, to people here at Insurance Auto Auctions, man, they have been amazing. Everywhere I go, it doesn't matter what state I'm in, the people at Insurance Auto Auctions are always very friendly, welcoming, helpful, just great people. And we're going to start off, well, it's a Chevy Lumina. And, and you know what? I bet half of you don't even know what a Chevy Lumina is. It's going to be that younger half has never seen one before. The older half is going to know exactly what it is because nine, nine times out of ten, you owned one at some point, I guarantee you. And that's why we had to show it today. I cannot tell you the last time I saw a Chevy Lumina. Now, I would like it more if it was the, Z, the Z34 package with the twin cam V6, but it's not. It's just a... It's just a Chevy Lumina. It's a four-door, but it's in relatively good shape. I'm, I'm guessing the dent in the fender totaled it. Uh, because other than that, I really don't see anything wrong with it. It's got good tires. The paint is reasonable considering how old it is. It's got a few, you know, maybe hail dings or something here and there. But the damage is, it's just this. It, it's just this, guys. It, you could fix that. You get a good body guy. He could straighten that out. Or if you could find a fender for it, you could just replace the fender and be done with it. She's not a bad looking car. And I always liked this, this kind of sport look on the front end, right? Kind of like louvers going over those center lights over there. I like that it's got the spoiler on the back. So it, it, it does kind of somewhat, not really, look like a Z34 Lumina love this car let's go ahead and take a look at the interior for those of you that haven't seen it or for those of you that just haven't seen one in a long time and you want to see it again classic general motors interior here guys look at this it's beautiful it is it's a really nice dark blue and i think that goes really well with the light blue on the outside really dark blue interior uh-oh, the door doesn't open. We'll, we'll fix that. We'll go around through the other side. I bet we can open the door from the inside as well. It may have actually taken a little bit of a hit in the back. I'm noticing this back bumper doesn't line up quite right. There's a pretty massive gap right here. Looks like a little spot here that got crunched. So I'm going to guess it took a little hit in the back. There could be more damage under there. I've seen it many times. These plastic bumpers will cover up a lot. Okay. Let's see. This is a Euro. That's why. That's why it's got all the fancy stuff on it. It's not a Z34. It is a... Don't you close now. It's not a Z34. It's the Euro package. So it's got a few of those sporty modifications and upgrades. 
I think it's a beautiful car. I do. I don't care what anybody says. I think it's a beautiful car. And hell, it might even fire right up. 140,000 miles. Very low miles for this car. You got your tachometer. Oh, she's dead. She's dead, Jim. Let's see if we can... There's the hood release right here. It's been a while. Like I said, I haven't seen one of these in a long time, so forgive me. You know what the, you know what the drill is? We're going to throw a jump pack on. It's going to have a 3.1 liter under the hood. It's going to be that, that kind of flat top motor that they use in here. Oh, man. Uh, there we go. I knew I could feel it. I just couldn't. There she is. Yep. There it is. 3.1 liter multi-port fuel injection, guys. Look at that bad boy right there. The battery, the, I love how they did this. They hid the battery underneath the washer reservoir. Okay, so <laughs> battery sits way down there. Now you do have a jump post right here, so we'll be able to jump off that, hook the negative over there, and we'll be good to go. Let's fire this bad boy up. Let's see what she sounds like. All right, booster pack is on. I bet this thing runs like a top. Bet you it does. I bet you it drives just as good. Well, you know, with a dead battery, the computer loses its memory. It takes it a minute. We'll try it again. Okay, well, she doesn't like to run unless you keep your foot on the gas. Typical, typical for this model of General Motors, guys. <laughs> Perfectly normal. Air conditioning? We'll see. I'll turn on the AC. It's got a full tank of gas. Ashtray. Oh, I don't know if the ashtray has ever been used. Doesn't look like the ashtray has ever been used. It smells good in here. You got your owner's manual. She's running a little rough. But God knows, this thing's probably been sitting for a while. I'm going to let my foot off the gas to see if she will stay running. Boy, look at that. Look at, look at the battery gauge right there. Jumping all over the place. Look at that. <laughs> Um, air conditioning does work. It's very slow to engage, but the AC is coming to life here. Nope, she died. We'll turn off the AC. That's not helping things any. Get a little gas. Yeah, she just doesn't want to run on her own, but we have no check engine lights, no ABS lights or anything like that. And yes, this does have anti-lock brakes. It does. Let's see. I'll start letting off the throttle here. See if she wants to stay running. Yeah, she's trying, guys. Give her a break. We're off. <laughs> Look, we're off. You got to know these old GMs, man. Uh, if they haven't been running a while, if the batteries have gone dead, and they'll they'll sit and spit and sput. And you just got to take them out and move them around a little bit. The important window does work. The AC works. A good set of tires. And I guarantee you, this car is going to go for nothing. This car is going to go for nothing. And, and I know, look, it's sitting here bouncing around. I'm telling you guys, don't let this car scare you. It's just an old GM. All right. You get her out on the road. You open that motor up. She's a torquey little beast, man. She is. You open that motor up. She'll clear up for you. Give her a little time, some fresh gas. This thing will be a dream to drive. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Good, good car right here. If this thing wasn't so far away from me, in the city in Oklahoma City, I'd bid on this in a heartbeat. I would. I would bid on this in a heartbeat. It's a beautiful car. You just... Okay, moving on. Next on my list, you don't see these very often anymore. At least I don't. This is a... Well, hell, I don't know what year this is. An 08? Something? 08? Audi TT Quattro. I love this blue color. I mean, I really love this blue color absolutely beautiful i don't know if this is an automatic or a stick i don't see too much damage yet not yet obviously this quarter is uh she's wrinkled up pretty good that could be fixed a good pdr guy could straighten that out and you'd never know that was there it is an s line obviously the front fender was destroyed the tires are shot um, but I don't see any real damage. Looking at the front here, looks like the bracketry and everything are still intact, even down here. So the headlight's missing. Not sure where that went. But it doesn't look like this thing sustained a whole lot of damage. This is one of those easy to put back together. Real easy to put back together. You know, source the back bumper. You might get lucky and find the lights inside of the car. As I said, tires are totally shot. 
she looks good she does she looks real good this is a, ah wait we've got uh do we have we do we have the bumper in the back which may or may not be usable all right but back there's the bumper we've got the fender liners and everything here it looks like we got just about everything that was taken apart is in here it's an automatic so that's kind of a yeah you know kind of a downer it is an 05 i thought it was an 08 it's an 05 let's uh pop the hood oh the v6 3.2 okay i thought this was like a turbo a turbo four so kind of surprised to see the vr6 in here man uh, sorry did i say vr6 i mean technically isn't whoa don't fall isn't this a volkswagen vr6 motor uh i'm certain it is because look one two three four five six all your plugs are right here on top it's a very interesting design for an engine so i guess audi doesn't call it a vr6 so we'll just we'll stick with pretending i didn't call it a vr6 even though i'm 110 percent certain that it is actually a vr6 i'm looking for that headlight i think it's back there i do i do i don't know if we can open this or if there's a button or i may stop messing with it i do see some lights back there is there a button somewhere for opening i don't know let's see if we can fire it up though let's do that let's see if it's got some nice sound and exhaust on it uh-oh well she don't want to run she don't want to run and i can't get in here really because that bumper is in the way but i can kind of let's let's try it like this there we go there we go we got her we got her oh yeah she runs i still don't know how to open the daggum trunk but she runs <laughs> There's a button on the key fob. Oh, we got radios going. Okay. All right. She sounds good, man. She does. This is an easy fix right here, guys. I like this. I like this a lot. Whoa. The hood's trying to close on me. Got some disconnected wires. the exhaust here oh she's loud she's real loud this bumper is all kinds of uh of dinged up and everything here you might need a new bumper might be able to save this one i don't know i think if you tried real hard you could save that bumper though I'm not going to be able to get in and put it in gear or anything. She's idling down now. That's good. That's good because she's loud. She is real loud. Air conditioning is on. Uh, I wish I could get a little further in here. I just can't. We got music playing. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and turn her off. Can we pop the trunk? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We know she runs. Oh, this thing's awesome, man. I like this. Even in an automatic, I bet she still gets it. I do. I bet she still gets it. We got the tail light right here. What are all these? Lots of little stuff mounted into the tail light there. I don't know what all that is. Side marker lights, nuts and bolts, the rear bumper, and the headlight. Yeah, this thing's got everything, guys. The headlight looks like it's probably still okay. Hell, even the rear bumper looks like... I think you could bolt this back together, guys. I'm, you know what? I don't need this car at all, but I am going to... I'm going to put I'm gonna put this on my watch list and keep it because this is an easy repair. As far as I can tell, this looks like a real easy repair. Radiator's still mounted down there. Everything looks like it's still where it needs to be for the life of me. I can't figure out why this thing is sitting here. I really can't. It obviously took a little bit of minor damage, but she looks great. She really does. She looks great, guys. Let's move on to something else. A little bit of carnage for you. 
It's a GMC Sierra 2500, man. She was a beast. She was a beast. This sucker was huge. Yeah, she's got a lift kit. She's got the big wheels. Toyo mud tires, open country. Probably 35s. I'll have to take a look, but I don't know. Oh, wow. I didn't even see this. We're not going to be looking at that one. That's about to fall off, man. Yeah, this thing obviously, uh, obviously rolled over. It's not a bio, so I can go ahead and show you. I mean, it's got some mold and stuff going inside of it now from being out in the elements, but she's not a, not a biohazard from blood or anything like that. The wheels on this, oh, wow, they're bigger than 35s. They're 37s by 13 and a half by 20. Yeah, but that's a big truck. Big truck right there. Yeah, she's done, man. She's done. Look at this roof. I mean, it just flattened it. I don't know if it rolled on top of a tree or what the deal was. Dang, man. Hopefully, everybody came out of this one okay, though. That's a That was a nasty wreck right there. How about a 2008 Toyota Tundra? Hey, you guys love these Toyotas, man. I got to admit, I kind of like them, too. I do. This is nice. It's a 5.7 iForce V8. It's got the running boards. It's got the chrome wheels. It's got the hard cap on the back. Good tires. I don't know why this one's here, but she looks nice. She looks real nice. You know, obviously, she's got a little bit of wear on her. But nothing, uh, nothing too bad. So she's been used. That's good. I like to see that. I don't mind a scratched up bed, guys. Scratched up bed just tells me that somebody used it for what a truck was meant to be used for. You know, a little bit of work. A little bit of work never hurt one of these trucks at all. These things will run forever and ever and ever. They will. Uh, the interior is a little tore up. I'm going to bet she's got a couple hundred thousand miles on her. Let's go find out exactly what the miles really are. Let's see if it runs. I got no doubt it will, though. Like, I, I haven't even read the paper. I don't need to. I just, I know this truck's going to run. It will. It'll run. She may leak some oil. She may not smell the best. And the seats may be a little tore up. She'll run. Check this out. Told you. Told you. You can't kill these things, man. You can't kill these things. Woo, let's turn on. Okay, the AC is on. Yeah, definitely make sure the AC is running. Let's pop that hood. What's the miles? Oh, wow, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but the miles are only 111,292. 111,292. What is this? What is this little device right here? I probably shouldn't push on things. I don't know what they do. Does important window work? Why, yes, it does. AC? We'll find out. It's not currently not currently working, but it may come to life. She's got a flat tire, but the tread is in good shape. Probably just a slow leak. Oh, what do we got under here? Like I told you, the only thing I was wrong about is the miles. 100,000 miles on this bad boy. She's going to last forever. Uh, you could buy this right now. It'd probably last you the rest of your life. No joke. These things are just indestructible. You can't kill them. You can't. And I can't hate on them, man. They make a quality product. They really do. They know how to make vehicles. Listen to her. She purrs like a kitten. She's got a lot of rock chips and stuff. Probably live down a dirt or gravel road. Lots of scratches and stuff in here. You know, end of the day, give her a, a paint job. Should look brand new again, guys. At least on the outside. Lots of room on the inside. The seats are a little torn up in the front, but honestly, not that bad. Not that bad. Let's check that air conditioning again. Eh, I got nothing from the air conditioning. It's blowing, but she ain't uh she ain't blowing cold. Oh wait. There we go. Let's do that. Turn the AC on. It, it wasn't on. I thought it was. Uh, I don't know, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. No, still nothing. All right, AC needs a little bit of work. And I honked the horn. That's my bad. AC needs a little bit of work. Aside from that, though, no big deal. 
no big deal these things are relatively easy to work on and boy they are valuable these things are worth some money let's check out something else okay I, it, <laughs> this is sexy right here man this is sexy i don't know what year it is Ooh, guys i don't know how anybody could look at this and be like nah i don't like that this is gorgeous now it's sitting right next to a gla 350 it's a gls 580 formatic man so if you guys were wondering how come i didn't record that little mercedes sitting right next to the uh toyota truck well it's because i saw this and i was like nah we need to go check this one out oh she did well come on now come on it's beautiful guys look look at this instrument cluster okay all right this is 12 volt battery is dead look look at this this instrument cluster is digital from here all the way over man all the way over oh she fired right up she sure did she smells a little funky mercedes benz you got your heads up display right here in this little pocket. Oh, that AC. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. This thing is awesome. This is nice. Look at this. Ooh, nice blue or purple ambient lighting. You got a nice little place to rest your, your wrist right here while you play around with your I don't know what Mercedes-Benz calls it, but basically your iDrive. The miles on this, you're not going to believe this, 124 miles. That's it. 124 miles. It's a 2020. That AC feels phenomenal, by the way. Oh, yes. We don't need to check and see if the window works because we already know it does. Oh, you got them, them cool seats right there. Ooh, yes yes guys she is brand double new these are uh 285 40 23s on the front 23s you ever heard of 23s i heard of 24s i've never heard of 23s so oh man wow that's a big boy right there she is no joke man i wonder why this thing is here I do. I wonder why this is here. Guys, look how aggressive the styling is on this. The front end looks like it's going to eat something, man. I'm serious. This thing looks super, super mean. And I don't see any damage. Maybe it's a flood car or something. I don't know. Let me let me take a look here. Uh, the loss was October of 2020, so it's been a while. But I don't see anything that says uh, uh, it's a theft. There it is. It's a theft. Now, obviously, to steal this vehicle, you got to have the keys, right? Uh, to drive it anyway, you had to have the keys. So it's a theft. Somebody stole it, got paid out for it, and here it is sitting here. You have a brand new, brand new Mercedes with 124 miles on it. That's a salvage title as a theft recovery. And it can be yours if the price is right yeah yeah i know you saw the thumbnail and you've been waiting probably even fast forwarded just to get to this shame on you for that you should have watched the whole video we had some good cars in there anyway <laughs> here we got a 1968 corvette now it claims on the hood there's some decals there are some little stick on things that say 427 i don't know could be a 427 I think more likely, though, maybe it's a 454, you know, but who knows? It really could be a 427. I, I don't know. I, I suspect it's probably a 454, though. She got wrecked in a bad way. A real th This thing is done. Now, there's still plenty of usable parts, um, but I mean, it's, it's done. It's done. You know, the fiberglass, not just on the outside, but on the underside, underneath all of this, it's all destroyed. The frame is obviously toast. Here's your frame rail right here. And as you can see, she's done. So the frame is done. The body is done. The uh, firewall is finished. A pillar, like everything. Every, all the all the important stuff all the big stuff to replace is done for so as far as i can tell this is best as a parts car 
You got these beautiful old uh, Chevrolet rally wheels though. I've got these myself at the house. I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna put them on. Maybe the 55 Chevy, maybe the El Camino. I don't know, I don't know, but here it is. 427 they've got it covered up fairly well try to keep the try to keep the, the moisture out of it but this is a it's a hard car to keep covered up man it's wrecked in such a bad way windshield is done let's take a look at this motor maybe some of you can tell me for sure what this is to me just looking at it uh, it it looks like a big block chevy but i'm thinking this looks just like a 454 <clears throat> Excuse me, got a what looks like an MSD ignition. You can see the motor is sitting sideways too. The motor's been tweaked. That frame rail bent so far, it must have pushed the transmission over towards the driver's side. So, yeah, a uh, big, probably four core aluminum radiator. That's at least a three, but I think that's probably a four core aluminum radiator. Yeah, this looks like a 454 to me. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm no, I'm no guru, I'm no expert. It could very well be a 327. We'll come over to the other side, take a look. Somebody had rebuilt the uh, vacuum things. I, I don't know what these are called. These canisters, vacuum canisters for the headlights. Those are brand new looking. So somebody was in the middle of putting a lot of work into this. Uh, the only thing I don't know for sure is if that is a 427 or 454. The intake says uh, General Motors. 3919849 there is a serial number on the block here but of course i can't read it so i can't tell you that that would tell you everything you need to know right there wouldn't it that'd be too easy too easy but the fact it's got an actual uh uh gm manifold i don't know you tell me that manifold looks aluminum to me i'm telling you it's a 454 i'm i'm positive that's a 454 but if i'm wrong you guys will correct me down in the comment section i know you will i know you will do me a favor look it up right now if you already know drop those comments and tell me randy that's a 454 you're right or randy you idiot it's a 427 don't you know your gm as well no i know a little bit about a lot but i don't know a lot about everything does that make sense how do you close this daggum hood let me figure out how to close this hood real quick guys well guys i'm here to tell you i think we're about finished i'm gonna take a quick walkthrough with you which is something I don't normally do, but I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for this last little walkthrough here. If you see something that piques your interest, definitely holler. In fact, I think I see something already. I could be wrong. Uh, let's just continue walking. A lot of Mercedes over here. I see a lot of Mercedes kind of grouped together right there. And then we got that big Bertha Mercedes right there. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, look at the weather though. Like uh, a minute ago it was raining and then it got hot and sticky. <laughs> Like, it almost reminds me of Oklahoma. Almost. We got some burnt down cars over there. Let's uh, see. I'm just wanting to make one last walkthrough to be sure I didn't miss something. There's a T5 Volvo right there. Yeah, that's kind of nice. 2012 S60. Nissan. A Ram. Kind of a utility truck. A burnt down truck over there. Got some bugs. There's an Audi. There's an Audi. We can walk over here real quick. Let's take a peek at the Audi. Oh, that's an A7? Oh, hello. Hello. I almost missed you. Oh, bullet holes. Oh, okay. Hold on. We might not be able to look at this one. If this says anything about there being a biohazard or anything in it, then yeah, we may not be able to look at this one. Uh, let, me, let me take a quick peek here. Make sure... This is something we can do. It does run and drive, does have keys, it starts, it's a 2012. I don't see anything about biohazard. So I guess we'll go ahead and, oh wow, bullet. You know, gun must have been aimed just at the right angle, man. It hit here, cut through the aluminum and then basically ricocheted, bounced right back off. <clears throat> supercharged bullet hole right boy that was a hell of a name because if let me tell you if you were sitting right there back this this whew, bullet holes right here too look at that glass has been shot out it's been shot from behind as well oh man i don't know i'm feeling i guess we'll go ahead and open the door let me take a look in first there's a lot of mold, a lot of mold. Yeah, I can show you this. There's no blood. Okay, 
All right. You can see the bullet went right into the seat right there. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, if I open the door and there's blood in here, guys, I, I ain't going to be showing it to you. You can see where a bullet came through the door right here. Look at that. Right through there. And I don't know what the situation was surrounding this car. This mirror right here has been busted out. I don't know if that's from a bullet hole or not. But dang, man. Uh, the bullet entered right here through the side of the door there. She's got power again. Like, I'm making sure there's no blood in here so we're good we're good i'll tell you what whoever was driving lucky really lucky the bullet came through here like imagine somebody was sitting here and a bullet i mean that thing whizzed right past them man that bullet whizzed right past them that is scary you see they've uh i'm not gonna touch anything in here they've wrapped off the steering wheel so i'm not gonna touch any of that I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to. I'm trying not to touch really anything on the inside either. But, I mean, that bullet right there went through here, through here, and then straight through here, man. I mean, that was a close one. That was a close one. Wow. All right, we're continuing our mission because I think we're about out of here, guys. But if you see something that you wish I would have looked at, do me a favor. Comment it down below. Tell me what it was you saw. And I will try harder next time to make sure if I see one of those to, to include it in the video for you. All right, I'll do that for you. But I can't know if you don't tell me. So if you see something that I'm walking by and you're screaming at your computer screen right now, now's the time. Drop that comment down below and tell me, Randy, please next time will you show us this or show us that. And I'll, uh, I'll definitely make an attempt to do that for you. We got a, a nice newer Toyota. Boy, she got the front end took off of her right there dang and it was bejeweled too 2013 toyota vinza i gotta be honest with you i had no idea what i had no idea what it was no idea what it was at all i got a bejeweled butterfly right there i've never heard of a vinza before but all right pretty slick looking uh we got a c230 compressor i'm not really interested in that right now either uh, nissan altima malibus there's a honda cross tour over there honda accord right here with the front end ripped off a Jeep Grand Cherokee. You know, honestly, all the yards I go to, and I plan on traveling more for you guys this year. I do. I plan on taking a lot more trips this year to show you guys some different things. I'm here to tell you a lot of the cars, doesn't matter what state I'm in, the cars are pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Now, I do intend to make a trip to Miami for you guys at some point in the future. Uh, I think that one's going to be a special one for you. I do. I think, I think the, the content in Miami maybe just a little bit different than what you're used to from out here so i like to mix it up a little bit don't get me wrong i love these average everyday cars that you and i can afford but at the same time from time to time on rare occasions i definitely like to go to places like los angeles uh, miami and check out the supercars well, maybe you can afford them, but I can tell you this, I sure can't. So <laughs> I love going out and just taking a look at them. We're going to end this video right where we started, back at the Chevy Loom. It's almost like it's begging me to take it home. It's begging me to take it home. I wish I could. I wish I could. The last thing I need is a Chevy Lumina sitting in my driveway, just like the Cavalier that I'm not going to drive. Guys, gals, I'm going to get out of here. I got to give one big shout out again. One last shout out to Insurance Auto Auctions, the local people here at this yard in New Orleans, as well as corporate office for allowing me to come out and run through their yards. Man, it's really cool. I'm sure it's, a, I'm sure it's somewhat of an inconvenience to have someone out here going through your lot. So I appreciate them taking the time to let me out here and do this. I really do. And if you appreciate it, well, go check out Insurance Auto Auctions. It's real simple. It's IA. Just go to their website, man. IA. Hey, hey, insurance auto auctions you can just google insurance auto auctions come right up i'm working on getting a link together for you guys where maybe possibly you could get a discount you know maybe save a little bit of money sign up check out these cars for yourself guys i really i love the salvage auctions i really do and i'm thankful to be here doing this for you thank you to all of you for watching if you enjoyed the content hit the thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button follow me on facebook instagram twitter tiktok auto auction rebuilds subscribe to this channel if you're not currently subscribed to stay up to date to all of the future videos that are coming i promise you i got more coming very soon for you stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one